So this question says, what are the solutions to 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals 0? So I make it a habit to always write down any equations or expressions that are provided in the question. Um, this also looks like it's going to be a simplified question, right? It's only a single line. Typically, questions that are one to three lines long require simplification. So what, what I mean by that is my focus is solely on how do I simplify this. I am not looking at the answer choices yet. All I care about is what can I do to this to make it look more simplified. So first thing is the first rule of simplification is can you pull out a greatest common factor? Um, there is one. In this case, the GCF is equal to three. So when I pull three out, I end up with three parentheses x squared plus four. 4x plus 2 equals 0. Now, because this is an equation, I can divide both sides by 3 so that this 3 is gone, and I'm left with x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. So now, how do I factor the x squared plus 4x plus 2? Well, I like to use the quadratic um, formula here because it's fail-proof. So I'm going to just write it down so you remember it. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, in which case, right, a is equal to 1 because there's no coefficient in front of that x squared. Therefore, it must be a 1. My b is equal to 4, right, the coefficient in front of the x term, and c is equal to 2. So just let's just plug that in. So negative b, well, that becomes negative 4 plus minus square root. b squared, well, that's 4 squared. 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times 2, which is c, all over 2a, which is just 2. Simplifying that further, and I'll go up here so I have more space, I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. Well, then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, so I have 16 minus 8, again, all over 2. Simplifying that further, I have negative 4 plus minus 16 minus 8 is 8, so again, all over 2. The square root, so simplifying one more time, the square root of 8 is um, 2 root 2, so I end up with negative 4 plus or minus 2 root 2 all over 2, and just, just in case you don't know how I got that. Square root of 8, what I love to do is to break any non-perfect square root into a perfect square, if possible, and whatever its matching partner is. So in this case, 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of root 2 just stays as is, and that's where that came from. So I can simplify one more time because 2 goes into itself once. It goes into 4 twice, and it goes into 2 once. So what I'm left with here is negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2. That's what, I, that's what I'm left with. And therefore, the answer must be choice A.